So I did a video the other day on some of the best unlocks you can get early on in X Defiant, focusing on some of the best weapons in the game that you do have to unlock. And although I do still stand by those weapons being some of the best in the game, with even more playtime, I've now realized just how underrated some of the other weapons are in this game. And so today I'm going to be running you guys through the most underrated weapons, devices, and even factions in the preseason of X Defiant. Today's video is brought to you by Lago Fast, but we'll hear more from them later on in the video. Now, the first weapon that I think is vastly underrated is is the M249, which is obviously an LMG. And this one is unlocked at the very beginning, so you don't have to complete any challenges. This is just available from the very beginning of the game. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am not an LMG guy, so I pretty much just neglected this from the beginning. I almost never use LMGs. I just don't really feel like they suit my play style. I'm very aggressive and always sprinting around and stuff. And in most other shooters, I feel as though you can't really do that that well with an LMG. Now, in this game, that does not feel the case at all. The LMGs are not as sluggish as they feel in other the games in my opinion it doesn't feel like it slows you down all that much they do have a pretty quick ads time considering their lmgs and the thing with the m249 specifically is that this thing is an absolute freaking beamer it almost feels like it has no recoil whatsoever and i'm not joking when i say i've had my best game of x defiant so far in the very first game that i used the m249 i'd seen a lot of people talking about it and i thought you know what i better try and use this and see if it's any good and literally in my first game i had by far the best game that i'd had which as you can see by the gameplay this this thing is just eating people for breakfast. So do not sleep on the M249, even if you're not an LMG person, trust me, this thing is definitely worth using and it allows for some awesome clips because you obviously don't have to reload after every kill. You can just mow down people pretty much at will. Now, something else that is definitely very underrated is the EMP grenade, which is unlocked by dealing 400 damage to enemy equipment with your own devices. So the easiest way to unlock this is just pretty much throwing grenades at any like phantom shield you see and stuff like that. And you should be able to get this done in only a game or two. Now, the the EMP is absolutely insane. This will pretty much cancel or at the very least time out most items, equipment, and in some cases, even abilities in the game. As far as I know, it does this to pretty much everything except for ultimate abilities, which is obviously very helpful for like shutting down shields or taking out spider bots. Plus it does just disrupt the enemy screens as well, throwing off enemies and obviously making them a little bit panicked as they know someone is coming to kill them. Now, what I also find is that this combined with the DedSec faction who also get more uses of their devices, this is a game changer, especially for those of you who love playing the objective. Now, next up is the Vector, and I've talked about the MP7 and the P90 in previous videos saying I thought that they were the best weapons in the SMG class, but I do think the Vector just might be up there with the MP7 as the best SMG in the game, if I'm honest. Now, you can unlock the Vector by simply just dealing 10k damage with other SMGs, which shouldn't take too long at all, and especially if you're trying to unlock the MP7 and the P90, then you'll pretty much do that while you're trying to unlock those two as well. So it is pretty simple to unlock and like i said this thing is an absolute beast now the only downside really is its magazine size you only have 25 bullets per mag and obviously with such a fast rate of fire that goes in what feels like a single second of shooting the gun so that is really the only downside in my opinion but obviously as you grind away you will be able to unlock extended magazine attachments and even the quick mag and stuff like that that will help deal with that issue but even with just 25 rounds in the magazine this thing is an absolute beast and is definitely something you don't want to sleep on now before we go any further, today's video is brought to you by Lago Fast, the best ping and frame rate optimization tool on the market who now have settings specifically designed for X Defiant. I wanted to make sure the app was legit before I talked about it. And as you can see, this is what my ping and frame rate were like before I used Lago Fast. But here's what it looks like afterwards, giving me a genuine boost to both my ping and my frame rate, which is obviously crucial in a fast paced shooter like X Defiant. It's literally as simple as opening the app, searching for X Defiant and finding the best server for you, clicking boost, which will then not only boost your ping, but also boost the frame rate as well in this other tab over here. And then when you launch the game, as you can see, you will instantly be getting more frames and better ping within minutes. And the ping boost does even work on console too, which makes it even better. Plus it has a free trial. So you guys can test this out for yourself completely free. Click the link in the description or the pinned comment to download Lago Fast today. And if you use the code Sammy at checkout, you can also get 30% off your order. But with that being said, let's get back into the video. Now, something else I find to be a little bit underrated, to be honest, are the proxy proximity mines. These are unlocked by dealing a thousand damage with your devices. So it is pretty easy to do pretty much just throw grenades and eventually you will deal a thousand damage. Now I do think the EMPs are probably the better option, but when it comes to, I guess the deadly options of the frag, the 
of sticky and the procs mine that actually kill enemies rather than the AMP just interrupting and same goes for the flashbang. I do genuinely think of those three that the procs mine is probably the best option. If you place these down in high traffic areas, you will definitely pick up kills. They're very hard to see. So enemies are going to just run straight past them. And because you can't prone in this game, you actually cannot avoid damage. Now crouching will reduce the damage, but you cannot fully avoid it. So if someone is like half health and they run past a prox mine, unfortunately they are guaranteed to die if they set this thing off. So these are definitely underrated in my opinion. They are much more useful than grenades or stickies, especially when it comes to playing the objective. Now, next up we have the M60 and just like the M249, this thing is a beast. Like I said, I'm not an LMG guy, so I was definitely sleeping on both of these weapons, but I will not be doing that anymore. Now with the M60, especially it hits like a freaking truck. It has such high damage like it does in every shooter that this gun is in. And with the M60, it kind of feels like if you shoot first, you are pretty much going to get the kill unless you completely stuff up the gunfire. It also surprisingly has really good recoil too, considering it's an M60. Usually an M60 in any other game, they have absolutely absurd recoil because obviously it deals such high damage. And I believe that is just based off the real life M60. I believe it has crazy recoil in real life. But in this game, the recoil is actually very, very manageable. And because of that too, the range on this thing is absolutely awesome. Now, next up, we actually have a faction and this is DeadSec who are unlocked by getting 700,000 XP or I believe you can actually unlock them through purchasing them too. Now, the reason these are probably underused is because not everyone has them yet or even those who do have the DeadSec faction have probably gotten used to the four factions that they start with and so they don't really think this is worth trying out. The Fabricator ability means that they are constantly printing new devices so you can essentially throw a grenade and just print a new one in maybe 15 to 20 seconds which is something that no other faction can do. Once you throw your single grenade you cannot get another one until you die and respawn. On top of that you can also hack enemy equipment and make them your own or you can obviously use the spider bot too which is pretty awesome. Definitely don't sleep on dead set guys like I said even for me I was using the other factions because I had them first and I did just prefer them but after trying dead set I honestly do think they are probably one of my favorite factions in the game. Now last but definitely not least we have the MK20 SSR which is a marksman rifle and this one is unlocked from the beginning so you don't have to do anything to unlock it. This thing is absolutely insane it actually has two hit kill potential and I think it can actually one shot headshot but I could be wrong on that because maybe the times that this happened for me the enemy had already taken damage or something like that I'm not too sure on the actual damage stats but just rest assured this thing deals a shitload of damage. On top of that, it feels like it has such easy to manage recoil, especially once you get the red dot at level two, you just have such better vision and I feel like you can just hit crazy shots with this thing. And not only is it good at range, obviously it is built for that sort of mid to long range engagement, but it can even do well in sort of medium to close combat, which generally should not be the case, but in using this thing, I've actually done pretty damn well with it up close. I feel like this weapon is great to use if you feel like you need to slow down and play a little bit more strategic strategically rather than sort of running around and sprinting around corners with an SMG. So if you ever need a weapon to use when you want to slow down a little bit, this is definitely the one you want to be using. So that is it for seven of the most underrated items in X Defiant, guys. If you are new around here and this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those notifications on. There is so much more content like this on the way. And be sure to leave a comment down below as well with which of these items you think are the best. I'm keen to hear all of your thoughts. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there in the arena.